Federal officials have begun a major investigation into whether someone or many people benefited financially from the evil done to the country last Tuesday. Not long before the attacks occurred, there were some financial transactions in the stock market that may indicate knowledge of the attack before it began. ABC's Antonio Mora is here. Whether they ever get to, if they ever get to the bottom of it, it will be astonishing. Astonishing, no question, Peter. What many Wall Street analysts believe is that the terrorists made bets that a number of stocks would see their prices fall. They did so by buying what are called puts. If you bet right, the rewards can be huge. The risks are also huge, unless, of course, you know something bad is going to happen to the company you're betting against. This could very well be insider trading at the worst, most horrific, most evil use you've ever seen in your entire life. One example, United Airlines. The Thursday before the attack, more than 2,000 contracts betting that the stock would go down were purchased. 90 times more in one day than in three weeks. When the markets reopened, United's stock dropped. The price of the contracts soared, and someone may have made a lot of money fast. $180,000 turns into $2.4 million when that plane hits the World Trade Center. It's almost the same story with American Airlines. That's a five-fold increase in the value of what was a $337,000 trade on Monday. All of a sudden becomes what? $1.8 million. And there's much more, including an extraordinarily high number of bets against Morgan Stanley and Martian McLennan, two of the World Trade Center's biggest tenants. Could this be a coincidence? This would be one of the most extraordinary coincidences in the history of mankind if it was a coincidence. It is absolutely unprecedented to see cases of insider trading uh, covering the entire world, from Japan to the United States and North America to Europe. ABC News has now learned that the Chicago Board of Options Exchange launched their investigation into the unusual trading last week. That may have given them enough time to stop anyone from profiting from death here in the U.S. It may also give investigators, Peter, a hot trail that might lead them to the terrorists. Thanks very much. As a reminder of the complex complications here, though, the Secretary of the Treasury said today of this investigation, you've got to go through ten veils before you get to the real source. Yep. Thanks, Antonio.